Hey, Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, to be honest. All right. What's the overall energy for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus with love and romance. Okay, Ace of Swords. I feel like this month, honestly, you're going to have a level of clarity that I think that you haven't had in a very long time pertaining to this person. Um, what is Cancer's person of interest? What is what is their overall energy? Okay, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. And how does Cancer feel about this person? How does Cancer feel about this person? Okay, King of Wands, some of you may be dealing with an Aries, Sag, or Leo. Okay, what is the current situation between these two? Four of Wands. You know, something's obviously going on here, and it's something good. But I feel like it's because something may have ended that forced you into some type of new situation. All right. What's the best potential outcome here for Cancer and their person of interest romantically? Best potential outcome here for Cancer and their person of interest romantically. Engagement. Oh, shit. All right. So engagement is the outcome here, which I think is interesting. Now, engagement we can take as actual engagement, like will you marry me type of engagement, or we can take it as a uh, higher level of commitment. Okay, that's the first thing. Here's what I'm seeing, um, Cancer, and I'm going to be really, really honest with you guys because I feel like you guys can take it more probably than most signs. I feel like there's something here where um, you've realized some type of truth, and I feel like for you guys subconsciously, I feel like you always know what's going on, and it may be because you're water, so you have the, that that hypersensitivity to your intuition. But I do feel like there was something that was revealed here. There was a truth revealed here with something that I think that you've been thinking about for a period of time, and now it's here, right? I also feel like for you or your partner, I feel like there is somebody from the past, and I do feel like there's somebody new here. Um, I feel like there is one person that's very frustrated in the relationship and has a level of lack of confidence. Um, maybe on your partner's side, there could have been um, a level of sabotage or jealousy or fear. There's something here with that, and I think for you, I don't, I don't know why, but I feel like this is new energy coming in, but I think that that's after you cut out the old energy. I don't know why I'm saying this, uh, but for those of you guys that are watching this, if this makes sense, this very first part, can you put it in the comment section below if you've recently disconnected from somebody or if you've met somebody new that's coming in after kind of like a really tough relationship, something that's really hurt, but you've had to be strong and kind of like pick yourself up. That's what I'm getting for you guys for some reason. All right. And it could be that this person put you in some type of third party situation and that happened very quickly and now things have changed. Okay. Um, all right. But let's go ahead and get into your spread. What's the overall energy for love and romance for cancer? Okay. I like you. I love it. So, someone definitely likes you. Romance is blooming. There's something very fun and flirty here. The Ace of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a very new energy. Or there's a lot of clarity with, with what is going on with you romantically right now. What does Cancer finally have a level of clarity on here for their overall energy? What does Cancer have? Okay, the Three of Wands. Some of you guys may have clarity on an Aries. Or have clarity on what you've been waiting for. What's what's Cancer been waiting for? What what has Cancer been waiting for here? The Two of Wands. God damn it, Mars and Aries. Uh, kind of interesting, but Mars just went into Aries. So um, again, I <laughs> I think that there's a lot of very fiery Wands energy, and this is coming in like everybody's reading. So it's not just you guys. I feel like this. I feel like you're waiting for two different options. I do feel like there's two different options here. 
especially with um, Mars and Aries. This is, um, I feel like this is something very quick. Like, I feel like this is a situation that has come very quickly. There's a level of instinct here. And you have a lot of Aries energy. Two of wands, three of wands, four of wands. There's some type of progression here. What do you want me to tell Cancer about this? What do you want me to tell Cancer about this? Okay, four of swords reversed. I think that there was a situation where you had to decide between two people and finally, like, you've taken some time, you've really thought about it. I think that there may have even been some type of separation, whether it was a divorce or maybe not a divorce because, you know, all the courts, but maybe because, look, we have justice with the king of swords. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra or uh, an Aries. But I think that for you guys, especially with the four of swords here, this is Jupiter and Leo, Libra, and that's really trying to figure out exactly how to expand, but understanding you do better in partnerships. So for you, this may be you having clarity on which person to choose from, because why is this four of swords reversed here? It's like clarity with a level of action. Nine of wands reversed. It's no longer waiting. I do feel like there was um, a level of distance probably between you and this person. This is Moon and Sag. And I think that this person created a level of distance from you and them because they wanted to do their own thing. That's what I'm getting. Or they wanted to stand on their own. But there's still a level of optimism here that they felt like, you know, you felt like it could work out. However, I do think that the waiting became too long and I do think that there was an ending here possibly even with a Gemini or somebody that has a Mercury in Gemini um waiting for that person how does cancer feel now that this is over how that situation is is over ace of cups yeah I don't know I think here here's what I think as far as the overall energy is concerned I think that there's a lot going on I feel like the person that you were going back and forth with, this person may have had somebody else and you wanted them to choose. However, for whatever reason, um, that situation has become really painful, Saturn and Libra. And I think that it became painful because, you know, this person, I feel like they were unable to choose, right? That's why that two of pentacles is here, Jupiter and Capricorn, you know, going back and forth so much. And I also feel like whoever you guys were dealing with, I feel like they have a fear of commitment and I feel like something's happened to them in the past, which is why they move the way that they do now. The problem with that though, is, um, you're not that person that they dealt with in the past. Um, and I think that they keep, I feel like this person kept comparing you, but it's like, you can't compare apples and oranges, you know, like they're both fruit, right? But at the end of the day, they're both two different things. So I, I just feel like for you guys, like that pain is there because it was just too much back and forth, unable to decide, unable to choose. You know, I feel like this person avoided the relationship. And for you, it's like, I'm done with that. And I finally feel like you have a level of clarity. And now somebody new is coming in. And that may have even triggered you to be like, okay, uh, cool. I'm, you know, I'm no longer going to be upset over here right? One more card here for Cancer. One more card here. H how does Cancer feel now that this, one more time, now that this Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles has ended? How does Cancer feel about this? How does Cancer feel about this? The Empress. Libra Taurus. I think for you, it's now getting back in a place where you're in your groove. I know this is crazy, but I always look at the Empress as, as Cancer too for some reason. Um, because Cancer is the mom, right? Or Cancer is that very loving figure. I feel like this Cancer, I feel like you're going to be looking good, smelling good, feeling good. And I feel like it's just time for you to sit your ass on your throne and wait till somebody comes to you. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to Cancer, especially, um, a more feminine Cancer. So with more feminine, like feminine in their chart, 
you guys are givers. You guys give everything. So I feel like for you guys, now that this situation is over, where you've given so much to this person, now it's time for you to sit back and wait to see who the hell comes to you. Because I do feel like there is a new offer here, which is this Ace of Pentacles. Can you give me one uh, card here for Cancer's person of interest? Their energy here for Cancer. Okay, love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, um, affection, attraction. I feel like this new person coming in, um, I feel like they're very attractive. I feel like they have a lot to offer. I feel like they're ready for a level of commitment. The one thing that I really like about this new person coming in or somebody maybe that you know of that maybe it's a new start. Even if it's the person from before, they're having a whole new energy when they're coming into the situation with you because you've done things differently, I feel like. Um, but it's funny because this person is very confident. Where I felt like the person you were dealing with prior, I, I feel like there was a level of insecurity there. All right. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Cancer's person of interest for their overall energy? Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Even somebody that may have a moon in, in Cancer. Hold on. Why is the Four of Pentacles here with the Ace of Pentacles? Why is the Four of Pentacles here with the Ace of Pentacles with this person? Cancer. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. That's um, Mercury in Virgo. And here's what I think. I think that love is in the details. I think that this person obviously knows what they have to offer. I feel like they're holding back um, a little bit when it does come to you for some reason, which I'll ask. However, I do think that this person likes to do the right thing. I think that this is somebody who, um, you know, love is in the details. This is somebody who's very detail oriented. This is somebody who's going to go out. They're going to plan the date. They're not as flirtatious, per se, when it comes to relationships. However, um, they'll do things for you that, that are tailored around you, where you know that it's very specific to you. Um, how does cancer... Okay, strength. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Um, one more question. I'm sorry. Can you tell me why the Four of Pentacles is here? What's the energy of this Four of Pentacles for this person? the three of pentacles okay this person may have heavy capricorn in their chart this person is very financially stable uh the four of pentacles is here because of the three of pentacles um working together collaboration that is definitely um god i always forget it mars and capricorn and um mars and capricorn is a very controlled style of approaching life this person knows every step that they're taking. There's a very determined energy behind this person, behind what they want from you. I also feel like um, your person is somebody that works very hard. They're very goal-oriented. Um, they're centered around physical and material, and I feel like this person likes to plan for the future. Um, this person definitely prefers a very strong and powerful lover who's able to display those emotions. So let me ask this. How does, uh, how does cancer feel about this three of pentacles or all these pentacles for this person? How does cancer feel about this? The devil. One more time. How does cancer feel about this? How does cancer feel about this? The ace of wands. Okay. I think that you're attracted to the stability by this person. For some of you guys, the four of pentacles with this three of pentacles, for some reason, and only for some of you guys, um, I feel like this is them holding on to maybe a situation like maybe they're married, but they're separated, but they're not willing to get a divorce. Um, or there's something here with that. Or this person is... Um, very devoted to their work and making money and doing things the right way. And they may have other obligations aside from you or other people that they're talking to aside from you. However, for the majority of you guys, I feel like this person is somebody that you can actually really see yourself settling down with. 
Ace of Wands, the devil, you're very sexually attracted to them, um, very drawn to them. And I can even ask, what's the energy of the devil? What's the energy of the devil for how Cancer feels about this? The King of Pentacles. This is somebody who is in control, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or even Leo. This is somebody who is very in control that doesn't have a problem work, walking away from something that's not working for them. And also it has to make logical sense in the physical form. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. Now we have the King of Wands for how you feel about them. Again, I feel like you're very attracted to them. You're very focused on them. How does cancer feel about this person romantically? How does cancer feel about this person romantically? Woo, that just shot out. Okay, camera, let me ask one more. How does cancer feel about this person romantically? You may feel like they're dealing with other people. Part of me feels like that. Part of me feels like you guys know that if you're just starting to date this person, this person may be dating other people. You know that. Like, you're not stupid, right? Um, and I also feel like you're kind of telling yourself, like, it's going to, you know, I don't know. Hold on. Let me, let me, one more card here, please. For how cancer feels about this person romantically passion, insane chemistry. I think that you're trying to take a very optimistic per perception here. I think that you're learning from the past. I think that the mistakes that you made with your prior relationship, I think that you're trying to use that in your favor. So if you were somebody that was overly giving, overly caring over the one that was always putting forth the work, I feel like for you now, you're kind of sitting back and allowing this person to work the way that they need to work and prove to you, who is coming through as the Empress, what their worth is, right? But I do think that there is a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry here. There's a lot of sexual tension between the two of you. And I think that you're just thinking about the best way to kind of have you and this person come together, right? And have kind of like this aha moment where you communicate, hey, this is what I like and this is what I don't like. I don't want to be left out in the cold. I don't want to feel like um, I don't hear from you. You know, where all of a sudden we're talking and then boom, I don't hear from you. Like you're, I feel like for you, you're really laying the groundwork down. And I feel like because you're doing that, right? Having this King of Wands energy, you're telling this person exactly what you want. I feel like there's something here coming for you with judgment. And I feel like it's a level of good karma. Why is judgment here? And I feel like for some of you guys, it's seeing this person, going out with this person, dating this person. But I also feel like it's kind of surprising to you how much you really like them. Look, right as I said that, the Queen of Cups is here. There, there you are. Okay. Um, and I think that you're surprised. Why? Why is Cancer so surprised that they really do like this person? The lovers. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini, um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Uh, let's see. We have Leo here. Leo, we have heavy Aries energy. Yeah, I think that you're surprised at how well you and this person kind of like mix. One more card here for how Cancer feels about this person romantically. One more card here, please, for how Cancer feels about this person romantically. I feel like you're in the dating phase. I feel like you're getting to know one another. I feel like you're going out. You're meeting up. This person's coming over. You're going over there. There's dinner being cooked. There's all these different things where you're really getting to know this person in different aspects of them. Okay. One more card here, please. Woo! The Wheel of Fortune, some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, I feel like things are definitely changing. This is a change from what you're used to. Why? Why is this such a big change for Cancer? Why is this such a big change for Cancer? Because there's an ending. And there's some type of transformation. What's transforming here with death? There's Scorpio's ass. What's transforming here with death? The world. I feel like 
for this. I feel like for some of you guys, whatever was not serving you is ending. Okay, that cycle is ending. And now a new one is beginning, especially with the world card. And anytime that there's an ending, there's always a new beginning, right? Here we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo, or Capricorn. I feel like you guys are cutting out whatever was making you upset, whatever was no longer working for you. Okay, I'm saying that because we have the Four of Cups with the Queen of Swords. There's um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, Four of Cups. There's Moon and Cancer. I feel like you're cutting out what's no longer serving you. Especially with that Four of Cups, I feel like you're detaching from something that, you know, once was hard to detach from. And I feel like you have to do that because you want security and familiarity and you don't want things to keep changing. So that's why this person coming in is so refreshing because they're very consistent. They're all pentacles here. It's not wands and cups. It's pentacles. This person says that they're going to do something and then they put forth that action. And I feel like for you, there's a level of security here knowing that what this person says they're going to do versus what happened prior. And I feel like this makes you feel very good. Yes, I said, am I right about the security and the Queen of Pentacles fell out? There you guys are. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Yes. And I feel like, too, for you guys, this relationship is moving very quickly. Okay? Justice with the Eight of Wands. You and this person know exactly what you want. You guys are taking the steps. There's communication. There's seeing one another. There's action. And I feel like you both balance each other out very, very well. If you are dealing with the Capricorn, it's kind of funny because Capricorn is the father of the Zodiac. So it's like you guys are kind of like perfectly balanced. Or they may have Capricorn in their chart. Or if they don't, then they're acting. They're acting extremely stable here. All right. I feel like I've said a lot. So let's keep going. Your current situation is the Four of Wands with Lightning. Okay. Sudden changes. Shocking news. I think that, again, I think every time that you and this person get together, I think things change and things go to a whole new level. And I think that if you keep a positive mindset, you're getting exactly what you what you manifested. So, Cancer, if you sat there one night when you were upset and you're like, hey, this is what I want, it's like all this is coming to fruition here. Now we have, you know, Venus and Aries or the Four of Wands. Woo, look at all that's coming out. All right, hold on. Pull these back in. Okay. What is the current situation? I feel like you guys are dating. I feel like you're going out. I feel like for some of you guys, things are getting serious. You guys are getting into actual commitments here, which I feel like is a rarity, especially with nowadays since everybody wants to date for fucking 27 years and actually not commit makes no sense to me, but I mean, Hey, all right. What is the current situation between these two romantically? Okay. Temperance. They're sad. I feel like you guys are, are seeing one another. I think that you're going back and forth. Um, I think that you're both being very patient. Okay. I do think that Emperor, okay, there's Aries or Scorpio. You see the Empress? The situation is the Emperor. The situation is somebody knows exactly what they want. However, for some reason, Cancer, I feel like they're trying to be very patient with you. Because for some reason, um, I do feel like you're very delicate right now. I also feel like with the Seven of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, like you're blocking any bullshit. So this person knows that they can't come to you with this page energy. They have to come with, to you with the king of pentacles or the emperor because you are better than this, right? And for you, it's like you already know what you're worth. So if that's coming in, you're like, no, I don't want it, right? And that's Mars and Leo. That's saying passionately knowing exactly what you want, staying in control of your emotions, okay? Okay. Um, this is a very sexual energy. However, this is you saying, oh no, it, listen, okay. If I'm over here, the queen of pentacles and the empress, I'm not going to accept the page next. That's like that fuck boy or fuck girl energy. Like, nah, you can go play with somebody else. 
And I feel like you walk away from something that's not serving you. And by doing so, you get this six of cups. So this can be somebody from your past. This can be um, a new relationship that makes you feel good. This may be somebody that's older or younger. Um, or this is just a situation where somebody is doing the right thing and they're making you feel good. This person is coming to you. They're giving you what you usually give to everybody else. One more card here, please, for the overall situation for Cancer with love and romance. I do feel like still, though, Cancer, um, the star is here. I still feel like you guys have to shut the book on something that's taken a long time to end. And I'm saying that because we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Hermit. Some of you guys may be actually canceling out a Virgo or a Gemini. Or you guys are just shutting the book on that chapter. It Things move too slowly. And I feel like for you, the Two of Cups with the Ten of Cups, this is coming, right? However, you do have to leave, okay, what isn't serving you. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, you have to leave that alone. And by walking away from this, guess what you're walking towards? Your Knight or your King of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups, King of Cups. And this is a situation where you're going to be very victorious because you and this person are going to give equally. However, Mercury in um, Taurus, the person that's left you out in the cold, the person that's taken a long time to communicate, the person that's kind of shut you out, the person that has said like, hey, I want to take things slow. And then five years later, you're stuck in this fucked up relationship. Like you're, you're over it. You're walking away from that. You may even be walking away from a Pisces or a Taurus. Um, but there's something that you're walking away from here that's no longer serving you. And the reason you're doing that is because you're regaining control here. Okay. It's like, I don't have control here. I'm going to walk away from it. And by doing so, you end up like the six of wands. And I also think that you're cutting that additional party off. Now, here's what's interesting. I feel like that other person, the person that's kind of breadcrumbed you for a period of time, I do feel like they're coming back around, okay? I think that they're going to come at you hella tough. That's one thing. Um, for your uh, outcome, you have engagement. Now, I'm curious if this is with your new person or your old person because I feel like for some reason your old person or whoever you were dealing with prior, they see how happy this person is making you and I think that they're going to end up doing something to try to get your attention or they're going to try to do something to really lock it down so that you don't entertain this situation. With that being said, Cancer, I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.